Hey guys, today I'm going to be provided a bunch of images of celebrity homes and my job is to guess which celebrity lives in that particular house. So let's play. The estate features nine bedrooms and 13 baths growing across more than 12,500 square feet of living space. It's not a bad looking house. Looks like it's in Atlanta or looks like it's in Sherwood, maybe New Jersey. You know, I'm not a fan of new homes. I can't tell if this is a new home that is meant to look old or if it actually is. It might actually be old. It's currently on the market for an asking price of six and a half million, eight hundred and fifty thousand more than the buyer paid for the property in December of 2021. I think it's a nice looking redo. I think it's got good scale. It's on a gated hilltop spanning over four acres, just minutes from downtown Atlanta. That must be Buckhead. The property was completely rebuilt in the early 1990s, I figured, and designed by architect Stephen Fuller. Looks like that the owner is probably female. There is definitely a barber's chair in a pink room, so that is a female owner. Although maybe it has a male there, that's a very masculine looking screening room. The theater room is not my taste. It was previously rented by The Rock. The owner is moving back to New York where she maintains a triplex penthouse in Lower Manhattan. Is it Mariah Carey? How did I guess that? Next. I know whose house this is. This is The weekend's house. The singer bought the swanky Bel Air spread in an off-market deal for 70 million in 2021. Next. Okay, located in the colony. This $15.45 million beachfront home was purchased this summer by its actor owner. Uh, built in 1941, it's 3,100 square feet. The actor who owns the house is known to catch a surfer too. Location is a 10. House could use a little cleanup. Looks like a typical colony house. Surfing actor, no. I do not know whose house this is. Sister Benny Fieldstein, who recently had a role as Fanny Bryce in the revival of Funny Girl. I do not know. Oh, um, I, can, I can see him in front of me. Richard Fieldstein's son, Jonah Hill. Okay, this house, known as the Razor House. I know this house well. We sold this house to Alicia Keys. No Ho Condo in the historic Schumacher building was sold by its owner actor for $11 million. It is 3,280 square feet with barrel vaulted ceilings and exposed brick. There is a very good looking, seems to be a Francis Bacon painting, but I am actually going to go with it as not a Francis Bacon painting, but they do have lovely eight set of Chandigarh chairs. I still don't know who owns the place. The actor who owned this property is head-to-head -head with Samuel Jackson as the record holder for the person with the most swear words said in a film. Hmm. Can't say I know who that is. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. 4,400 square feet, six baths, four beds, 180 degree views. This celeb perched house above the Sunset Strip has been listed for $7,995,000. I do know this house. I am not sure who owns the house currently though. Screening room, kidney shaped pool. The house is not my style. A musician celeb who was formerly in a boy band has re recently holed up with the Don't Worry Darling co-star and director in a rented house in Los Feliz. I have no idea. Oh, is this Harry Styles? Okay, Harry Styles. That was easy. 